Andy, Michael, thank you for dropping everything on such short notice to fly us around the world. It's always a pleasure, Mrs. Forrester. Yeah. Looks like we have a stowaway. Somebody needs to be here to check the catering order. I think we can let the tower know that we're fully booked and ready to go. Thank you. So, did the food order have to meet with your approval? I don't think you'll be losing any muscle mass on your trip. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Pam sent some lemon bars. <laughs> Great, they'll probably have to be quarantined in Sydney. Oh, and she told me to give you something else. Uh... Text me something nice in Australia. Well. What? And sorry for the bumpy ride, folks. This tropical depression, well, it may be a tropical storm now, took a direction nobody expected. If we can't get above it, we'll go around. Meanwhile, best stay in your seats with your seatbelts fastened, and I'm afraid dinner service will be delayed. You know, if anybody told me yesterday that I'd be flying to Sydney with you, I wouldn't believe him. <laughs> Remember this about your father. He doesn't always say the right thing, but he always does the right thing. Besides, if he told us any earlier, I mean, how many women would have come out of the woodwork to kiss you goodbye? <laughs> Brooke, I like women. That's why I like to dress them. It's just like this puzzle I'm always trying to solve. The way, the way they sit, eat, movements they make, it intrigues me. So what about Daisy? <sighs> She's special. Very special. I think she is. All right, hang on. We're gonna ride this out. Ah! 